Hello, Hiker Jay here. This week I'm going to show you how to make a survival shelter that you carry right on your hiking stick. It's fall here in Michigan, starting to get cold, cold nights, and you never know when weather comes in. It's good to have a plan to have some type of a shelter on you, uh, whether it be just a blanket that you can wrap around you or a shelter that you can make to really protect yourself from hard rain and those types of things. So I got to thinking, people put stuff on walking sticks all the time, and I thought, why not make a walking stick that can convert to an actual shelter? Um, and that's what I've done with this. So first I'm going to show you how I made it, and then I'm going to show you how you take it apart and turn it into a shelter. So first what you're going to need is a walking stick, a survival blanket, some rope, duct tape, and you're probably going to also need scissors and a lighter just to finish off the rope once it's uh, done. To begin with what I did was I took strips of duct tape and I put it about six inches down from the grip. This basically will hold the blanket in place between the grip and the duct tape. And I wrapped it up so that it has some height to it. Next, I grab my survival blanket. This just happens to be a survive outside longer blanket. What I like about this one is it's orange on one side, and that's nice for if you build a shelter out of it, the orange is showing up towards the sky, and it's easier to find you if you are in a serious situation where you need to be rescued. Now what I did was, I just started, I kept it at its width, and I just started wrapping it around the pole. Every once in a while, tightening it up, making it right nice and tight. Just keep wrapping it until you get it all the way to, um, wrapped around. So next what I did was I wrapped the rope around the um, survival blanket. I tied a little loop at the bottom so I could cinch it up real tight and started wrapping. This takes a little bit of practice and I thought about doing a kind of a nice weave around it and uh, um, like a survival bracelet, but I thought why not just wrap it and see how it turns out. Well, it turned out really great. I wrapped it all the way around. I've thrown it around in the Jeep for a couple weeks. I've taken some hikes, I've used it, and it has not come apart. So I'm pretty happy with how that has turned out. At the end here, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna tuck it in um, through and wrap underneath uh, a couple pieces. I then took it and shoved the extra piece in there so that it just wasn't hanging out. Now it's time to put this to the test and find a place to put the shelter up. So I found this spot here in the pines and I think I really like this location. It gives me a lot of areas to actually tie off onto trees for my, uh, for my roof line, which would be really great. And it gives me a little bit of open space off to the side there where I could build a fire um, and still have the smoke go through. So I think, I think we're gonna build right here. First off, I'm just going to shorten it, and I have to find my beginning spot. There we go, and I'm going to tie it. Put my cordage out. Some that, and then next. Get my blanket off. Okay. Space it out, make sure, make sure we have enough space. Yeah, perfect. First thing I'm gonna do is set my ridge line. I'm gonna start from up here. It's gonna, actually from here, it's gonna wrap around the actual hiking pole and then go downward. And then I can raise it up and down however I want it. Now it's time to set up our blanket. I'm gonna put duct tape on every corner 
of the blanket just to reinforce it. Okay, so now I've taped the corners. I'm gonna punch some holes in them. So next, I'm gonna find sticks like this that I can drive into the ground to stake it all out. So this is a shelter set up. Took under 10 minutes to actually set up. Um, and it is very low and it may seem small, but it's that way on purpose. Reason being, I'm gonna take leaves, pine bows, maybe even my backpack to lay on to insulate myself from the ground. But then I wanna be close to these walls because they're gonna radiate my own heat back to me. In a survival situation, I don't know if I'm gonna be in a t-shirt, sweatshirt, whatever it may be. So I want this to be nice and close to my body, just how it is, nice and low. Um, and an added thing that I'd probably do is I'd probably put a log wall right here and then build my fire right here so that the heat of the fire would radiate, bounce off the wall, and actually come into here and hold inside this, uh, this shelter as well. Again, it's orange and I have an open space right there and that's so that if I was in a real survival situation, I could be spotted from above. You know, as an added bonus, this thing can tear down like super quick and just go along with you. You can take and put it in your bag, or if you get up and it's still cold and you want to hike out of there, you got this bad boy as a nice blanket to hike out. Well, I hope you like this little uh, little shelter. Like I said, it adds four ounces to your pole and it can just stay there forever until you actually need it. If you like this video, please hit like and uh, subscribe if you would. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that little bell so that you get notifications. Just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy. Take care. I'm going to crawl in this sucker. Come on with me.